wrong with Ruby? Hello, welcome to Story Fandom. Today we're going to watch Ruby Season 9, Episode 7, The Pillows of Paper Houses. And we can see the warning on the screen right now that says it contains some themes that might distress some viewers. So, yeah. we may end up pausing, and depending on what's going on, it may end up coming back with just three people. What? No! Um, kid, if it's that upsetting, I don't want you having nightmares or being freaked out. If it gets too, too distressing, I we may have to have it where we take a break, and then we tell you what happened later without you actually watching whatever horrible, distressing thing might Could be happening. Could it happen. to hide behind you? Or something? I don't know. If it's Ruby, she's, she's not going to want to... Yeah. Have us watch it in the other room. I mean, we could her cover her, her eyes and her ears. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll, you got to do the eyes because you got bigger didn't. hands. <laughs> I'll, I'll do the ears. Okay. Like this, you go like that. Oh. Go. <laughs> <laughs> do okay. No, well, I did <laughs> not see a spoiler about this episode. Kind of. I did at one point see something start popping up, and I was like, no. But it was such a generic image that it didn't tell me anything. It wasn't like last episode where I was like, oh, like and Yang are kissing. Well, that happens. <laughs> yeah. So basically he had his Snoop Dogg Miz moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Here we go. I had to like remind myself in my brain as I was sitting here. <laughs> what is she doing? I don't know, I'm like DJ. <laughs> well, apparently I'm floating currently okay. right now. <laughs> oh, so that must be uh Alex Lewis is on the back of it. I'm sure we'll find out when we get down there. Ruby, 
Where's your weapon? Oh, sorry. Uh, still waking up. Uh, hurry! People are counting on us. Whoa. Who makes a town out of paper? Hello. Welcome to our village. We hope that it pleases you. Would you be so kind as to tell us what you are so that we may serve you? Serve us? Your town is on fire! Oh, no, we are quite safe. We have our hero. Hooray! Three cheers for the rusted knight and his white rabbit. Stop, stop, back up! There's water everywhere, you'll dissolve. Hello, water. How may I serve you? Stop that. Uh, I can't believe that almost happened. It's been ages since I missed the first fire. Do fires happen often? Oh, every day. What? <laughs> oh, uh, right, I guess, uh, introductions. These are the paper pleasers. They're probably the most polite, most hospitable afterns around. Because that's their purpose. When Alex left me to die, Juniper found help, brought me to the paper pleasers, who got me back on my feet. They work all day, not just serving travelers, but serving the land they live on, too. They beautify it, make it a place of peace. Unfortunately, they're a bit clumsy, but that also makes them predictable. I told you to hold these. Thank you, Brave Knight. <laughs> Classic rabbit. You named them? After your teammates? No, I named them after everybody. Hello, I am the one called Ricky. Mm. What if you hate that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hate that. <laughs> the morning lantern is dealt with. That gives us just enough time to strategize before the calming pebble tower crumbles, crushing the koi pond dam, and flooding the entire village. So I'm thinking, quick brunch. <laughs> <laughs> I can eat. <sighs> Life's work. Over the years, Juniper and I have been systematically exploring as many of the nearby acres as possible. If you think you've seen it all here, let me tell you, you haven't. What exactly have you been looking for? Anyone or anything that might be able to take us back home. Okay, and what have you found? But so far, I mean, not much, but I've got a really really good feeling about this one acre we saw with a bunch of pyramids. Sorry, um, I'm just trying to make sure I follow. Do you have any leads at all? Any other plans? This is the plan. Look, I I'm sorry I didn't solve all our problems by myself, but I, I can't just run off and let them die. But between protecting the village, searching for you guys, and searching for an exit, We've got a really tight schedule to keep. Or rather, you've got a tight schedule to keep. I beg your pardon? This is the schedule of catastrophes that befall the village every day. Or at least they would if it wasn't for me and June. With this, you guys can save the day no problem, which means I can go out to keep searching without any interruptions. With Juniper's speed and my familiarity with this place, we'll find our solution in no time. Guys. This is it. <coughs> Look, if there's one thing I've learned after all these years, it's that patience pays off. It's why we're finally back together. I know I can find us a way out, okay? I, I know it. I know it! This isn't crazy. I'm not crazy. <clears throat> this isn't crazy. It's easy. You know, we still got time before the Pebble Tower falls. How about I... Saddle up Juniper and show you around myself. Point out some of the clumsier papers. <laughs> Just wait till you guys meet Neptune. <laughs> Damn it, John. This isn't a plan, it's a to-do list. He's obviously been through a lot. Yeah. We can be frustrated later. Right now, John needs us. And we still need him. We just can't count oh, on the him. Mouse and then the who does that mouse. leave us with? It's obvious we need someone to guide us, or we could end up thrown back in time, or killed by the tree, or worse. 
Well, if that's how everybody- The great tree does not kill. That is what we keep trying to tell him. But our hero still insists that we never ascend. What? I do not wish to be rude, but our work has been completed for quite some time. Because of us, the land is beautiful, but we have realized that, like ourselves, it is also very delicate. We would like to make something that is pleasing, but also resilient. Because of this, we are ready to leave ourselves and merge with the tree, so that it might return us as something new. But our hero is displeased by this course of action. We tried reaching out to the tree, but our hero forbade it. Then the wisest of our village suggested breaking from our physical forms so that the winds would carry us back to the tree. But our hero is clever and brave, always keeping us from harm. You must understand, the tree does not kill, it resurrects and rebuilds. We do not wish to displease our hero, and I hope I have not displeased you, but we so desperately wish to return to the tree, to return home, so that we may carry on with our work. Return home, huh? Oh, do not be sad. The wisest are going to topple the pebble tower today. I am sure it will work this time. <laughs> what makes you so sure? Nothing. That's so sad. Weird, but sad. But it also means Jean might not be totally right about the tree. It's not death, it's rebirth. From a certain perspective, maybe. But what happened to Louis then? Jean said Jean wasn't there. The cat wasn't even there. None of us know the full story and we'll never learn anything of babysitting these villagers. We have to convince Jean to let them go. But how? He's clearly not all there. <laughs> Is that what you think? <sighs> but what if the cow was telling the truth? Maybe not about everything, but about the tree. The tree's the last thing you should listen to them about. They're just doing what they're designed to do. They don't care what happens when you get there. We're not listening to them. We're listening to the Aftrins. And they're telling us that the tree is nothing to be afraid of. That they want to go. They don't know what they want. You've seen the way they act. Nothing here is that straightforward, okay? Aftrins are all either too clever, too stupid, or too crazy to trust. Then why do you care so much about this village? Because I can actually protect these people!
Rihanna, so Ruby is still my favorite character. Even traumatized Ruby because I feel like it's accurate. Mm -hmm. I agree. All right. walkers from the market but that's those were more than just her usual tricks they eat and grow and how has she gotten so powerful well she didn't do it by standing around i know you may not care about protecting this village but you could at least help your friends when they're in danger ruby are you okay No, no, what time is it? No! No! Oh, Sean. I couldn't save them. I was supposed to save them, and... And they're dead. No, John. They're gone. But they're not dead. They'll be back. Yeah, it's what they wanted. Right, Ruby? Why are you asking me? Um, we just... Because I'm the leader? Because I'm just supposed to have something to say? Because I don't. I mean, why do I have to be the leader anyway? Why do I have to always be the one to pick people up? What about me? No time, right? Gotta get home. Gotta help Jean. Gotta find someone who isn't just going to screw everything up! Gotta stay positive, right? Positive. Smiles all around! Maybe even finally get our... What is going on with Ruby? She's having She's a crisis. She's carried everyone. Yeah. Every season. But it's still hard to see. I know, yeah. but she was always the youngest. Then why is everyone, like, scared? Because they've always relied on her to be the one to be positive, to be upbeat, to say, we can do this, team, you we've gotta, got it. You gotta read the second comic, because even in there, they they mention it. Yang says that the Grimm show up and feed off of people's fear and negativity and everything, and that's why they're so lucky to have a leader who's always so positive and upbeat. That's how they see her. So, But it's gotten to be too much for her. Everyone has... A breaking point. ...and bad feelings. So she's kind of in that spot right now where she's questioning everything because she doesn't know if what she's doing is working or if she's right. Why makes you like this? Because she's... Upset. I'm scared. Yeah. That's what cat ears do. Mm -hmm. You ready? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Feeling sorted out. Good for you, by the way. We're all so happy for you. Hey. I'm sorry. Is this a bad time? Are we supposed to be mourning Jean's make-believe friends? They're gone because of you. The walkers came for you because Neo hates you. Oh, and let's not forget the reason we're in the Ever After in the first place is because of your plan that didn't work. What about you? It's all about you. Jean. I'm sorry, I... She's still the youngest. I know, I'm not okay. I'm, I'm not right, but... How am I supposed to be? I've been alone for so long. Here. On that bridge. I was the only one that could do it. I was the only one! And I... 
and now I have to live with that forever. In here or back home. Guys, I know things are bad, but shut up. Don't do that. Just don't. because you can see the parallels if you base it off of what we know. And Jean clearly sees it as suicide. Yeah. So. But they don't see it like that because that's another that was a heavy episode. They never yeah. seen death before. Well, because no. for them well, because for that, because death that doesn't world, happen in that world. world. They don't death. actually die. That's why they never seen death and how yeah. it feels for the other people. Yeah, but he's projecting what he knows onto them and his own feelings onto them. But I can't believe he actually yelled at Ruby, though. I honestly, I get a lot I get of it. where he's coming from, too. Yeah, he's I been get what alone is all why that he time. had that reaction. Yeah, but he blamed everything on her. She should thought of a plan that she thought would work because she was the leader and she needed to do everything. Now everything is about her and nothing was basically about her. Everyone's just all like, hi, hi, I'm Ruby, I'm Ruby. Hello, hello. Well, to be honest, neither of those things that they said about each other were really fair. No. Yeah. They were just both really lashing out. Yeah. Sometimes when because people are upset. They lash out. Because she was also the one who said, Oh, we just have to help John with his make believe friends. Yeah. And that's why he blew up at her. And because they died because he couldn't save them. Well, ascended because he couldn't save them. But he sees it definitely as they die. Yeah. And he has a lot of unresolved things and he's been alone for a long time. And I'm sure he hasn't faced any of those feelings. He kept himself busy saving them and finding and trying to find ways out and waiting for Team Ruby and searching for them. Like he said, his whole day was always packed, so he stayed busy so that nothing ever came up. And then when it finally did... He tried to find his home. He did. He needed to save them. Then he needed to go and look for for a place to house them up. They, and he, then he also looked for Team Ruby and all of them. Yeah. Which makes, which makes and sense. he's, he was alone that whole time. Yeah. So. And Except for processing Papa. death is hard and complicated, especially if you feel responsible which Ruby feels responsible for everything because mm-hmm. and Jean feels really responsible for her as a leader. Yeah. And she needed to make up plans and everything. Yeah. So they're both dealing with their own trauma. I mean they're both leaders. They've both been traumatized by everything that has happened. And unfortunately a very decisions. common thing with leaders are is that good leaders look after everyone else. But that doesn't always mean someone looking out after them. So, Ruby and John are good leaders. They were always taking care of everyone, but right now, they have mm-hmm. things that they need help with. They need people to take care of them, and mm-hmm. no one was doing it. John, because he was alone. And mm-hmm. Ruby, because everyone assumes that she's okay. She's got it. 
She's Ruby. And also, he every time also when Zhang and they still have the king, they saw they needed to be like they needed to always be hi, like always cheerful. Because anytime you saw them, you rarely ever saw them mad. And anytime they did, everyone freaked out. Like what is going on with them? Because they always saw him as funny, mm -hmm. happy. Mm -hmm. He was very mm -hmm. much a comic relief. That, but he also had more things to do with. Because even one of his teammates died. Mm -hmm. Ruby, all of her teammates are alive. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that she hasn't gone through her own traumatic thing. Yeah. Like watching Kira die, being right there and not having time to do anything. Like Penny. Penny. Because while John she may have been the one to actually kill Penny, I'm pretty sure... John, I don't really think Penny mm -hmm. did. That's why he's so upset, because they were fighting Cinder and Penny was losing, and she couldn't fight anymore, and Cinder was coming to try and take her power and become more powerful, so she asked John to kill her before Cinder could do it, and that way she was able to pass the power to Winter and keep the power away from Cinder, because Cinder's already dangerous enough with the power of one maiden. Now, if she had the power of two maidens, she'd be even more dangerous. So when Penny was hurt and dying and Cinder was coming, she asked John to kill her. Um. And so John did, and then the power went to Winter. That's why Winter got the, the powers. But John still had to do that. And that... Wait, why did he need it to do that again? So that because otherwise Cinder would have killed her and taken the power. Mm -hmm. Because Cinder would have been her last thought. Not just that, also Cinder and that Grimmar has the ability to actually rip the power out of people. Mm -hmm. That's what she tried to do for Raven. Mm -hmm. And did it work? No. Raven beat her. She's like, uh -uh, no. But Raven was also older, a better fighter, and not new to her human body, whereas Penny had just just gotten a human body for the first time. But yeah, so John's dealing with that, and then Ruby's also dealing with all that. Mm -hmm. She was the first one that met Penny, and mm -hmm. she was like, "Hi, hi," and like, "Hi, I'm, I'm Ruby. Hi, I am Penny." And then they both hid in the dumpster because people were coming after them. That was see. well after they met Kid. Really. <laughs> Yeah, they met when Weiss ran into Penny, and then they were chasing Sun, and then she bonded to Ruby, because Ruby was like, see you later, my friend, and she was like, are you really my friend? Shush. What? It's a pop-up. Anyway, so, did you like the episode? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you read a rating? It was very intense. So still got two thumbs up though? Yeah. <laughs> I also like the episode. You can probably have your own thoughts about what we, just, what we discussed and thoughts about what you think happened. Go ahead, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell! Ring the bell! And we'll see you guys next time. Ring the bell, ring the bell, ring, ring, ring the bell. Ring the bell, ring the bell. Yeah.